Thanks for watching Lessons in Minutes with Jay Lee. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Let's review the concept of step down allocation method, which is associated with service cost apportionment. The question is taken from Cape Accounting Unit 2, and that is 2013, number 1A. Now, the question reads, Tell company has three service departments and two production departments. The company has provided the following information for the five departments. We have service departments A, B, and C, and our production departments are P1 and P2. We have overhead costs relating to each. We have number of employees. We have square feet occupied, and we have machine hours for P1 and P2. The company allocates service department costs utilizing the step down method in the following order number of employees, space occupied, and machine hours. Now, in our previous lesson, we have used the concept of percentages. And in order for you to do the allocation, carry out the step down method, you would have started with the department that is offering the highest percentage of service to another service department. And that is the order in which it would continue until you have distributed among the departments. Now, if you have missed that lesson, the link is in the description below. The company makes no distinction between fixed and variable service department costs. Using the answer sheet provided, prepare a schedule to allocate service department costs to production departments by the step-down method. Part two, compute predetermined overhead rates in the production department P1 and production department P2. Now we're going to look at the worksheet that is provided. And if you look at this worksheet, you may be saying to yourself, I don't know what to do. But guess what? It is safe for you to examine the worksheet first, and then you proceed in completing the question. There are five columns relating to the departments because we have five departments. And to the left, there is a column with details we should basically guide you into completing the, the form. The first thing that you'll pick up is your overhead cost. And the overhead cost is coming from the question. So department A, 100,000 overhead costs. Department B is 40,000. And uh, to record that in our worksheet, 100,000 for A and 40,000 for B. Back to the question. C is 30,000. Let's make a note of that. And uh, P1 is 500,000, while P2 is 600,000. 500 for P1 and 600 P2. Now that we have our overhead cost, we can proceed to record or to allocate the service department cost. And we need to begin by allocating based on the number of employees, but which department do we start with first? If you look at your worksheet, it indicates the department that you will start with first, that is service department A. So therefore we need to indicate that we're reducing this department of the overhead cost of 100,000. So we're going to enter that in bracket. So 100,000 there in bracket. All right. Now that we have that indicates that we're reducing the department of that overhead cost, we're going to proceed now to do our workings for the department that we're sharing that 100,000 among. We are ignoring the 60 employees that work in the service department A because we're not going to allocate any of the service costs to the same department. It must be to the other departments. And those departments are B, C, P1, and P2. So we have a total of 1,700 employees related to the four departments that we are to allocate that 100,000 among. So that 1,700 constitute our denominator. Within service department B, we have 150 employees. That's the numerator for B. 
C, we have 50 employees. That's the numerator for C. P1 is 500 and P2 is 1,000. So these figures basically are the numerator for the respective department. And the denominator is the total, which is 1,700. No, I'm, I'm mentioning numerator and denominator. Yes, I'm talking about fraction because you have to create that fraction so that you can share this 100,000. So let's proceed to do our workings. And remember, we're doing that based on the number of employees. And for department A that we are allocating and we begin with department B, 150 employees divided by the total number of 1,700 multiplied by the overhead cost that we're sharing give us $8,823.53. Let's enter that in our worksheet. Now we're going to proceed to look at the calculation for part C, which is department C. Department C has 50 employees. We're going to divide that by the total number of 1,700 multiplied by 100,000, and we get $2,941.18. This we're going to record in our worksheet. So as you go along, ensure you write it in the correct cell. Okay? Now, part P1, which is department P1, 500 employees divided by the number of the total, which is 1,700, multiplied by the overhead cost of 100,000, give us $29,411.76. Let's make a note of that in our worksheet. And we are on to the final department, which is department P2. 1,000 employees in that department. We're going to divide that by the total number of 1,700, Multiply by the overhead of 100,000, that give us $58,823.53. And uh, let's record that. Know that we have shared this 100,000 overhead costs from service department A. Among the other departments, we're going to recalculate the costs within each department. Basically, our adjusted balances. The 100,000 from department A was shared among the other departments. So there is nothing remaining in that department in terms of cost. Department B, there was an overhead cost of 40,000. Added to that, we have 8,823.53 cents, which came from the service that is provided by department A. And that now give us a total of $48,823.53. For department C, it is $30,000 plus $2,941.18. That's a total of $32,941.18. Department P1 is $500,000 plus $29,411.76. Give us $529. 411 and 76 cents. And P2, $600,000 added to that is 58,823.53 cents. We have a total of $658,823.53. So these are now the new overhead costs that are within each department. Now we're going to proceed to allocate based on the cost, the space occupied by the departments. Now, the department that we're going to be sharing now, based on the worksheet, is service department B. So we have to show that this is the amount that is, that is originally in service department B after receiving costs from service department A. So this is what we are going to share. So we're going to show that we're reducing service department B of $48,823.53. Now let's proceed to look at our workings. Back to the question. 
We're using space occupied, right? We are going to ignore A because we're not going to put back any cos in A. If you find yourself doing that, you're not applying the step down method. You're using the repeated distribution. So we're ignoring A. No cos is coming back to that. Department B, yes, we're ignoring this as well because again, what we're sharing is not coming back to the same department. So we're ignoring A and B. So it therefore means that departments that we're sharing the cost among are C, P1, and P2. And that gives us a total of 130,000 square feet of space occupied by the three departments. Now, that gives us our denominator. Well, the 10,000 would be the numerator for service department C, 40,000 for P1 and 80,000 for P2. So we're going to proceed to doing our workings and completing our worksheet. So let's go. Our calculation, starting with department C, is 10,000 square feet divided by a total of 130,000 multiplied by the overhead cost from department B, which is $48,823.53. That give us $3,755.66. And we're going to record that in our worksheet. Now let's move into our calculation for P1. P1 is 40,000 square feet. We're going to divide that by the total number of 130,000. Multiply by the overhead cost of $48,823.53, we have $15,022.62 for the allocation going to P1. Let's enter that in the worksheet. And now we're on to P2. P2, 80,000 square feet divided by the total number of 130,000 multiplied by 48,823.53 and that gives us $30,045.25. Now, before I record that in the worksheet, bear in mind that you could apply your math skill where you simplify the fraction. You can proceed to do that. You can get rid of the number of zeros, cancel them out, and simplify and go with a smaller arm fraction. But if you want to be on the safe side, I recommend that you keep the decimal, work with the figures as they are, work with the fraction as they are to be on the safe side. Okay? Now let's record the $30,045.25 for P2 into the worksheet. And now we have distributed that overhead cost from service department B among the three departments. Now that we have done that, we're going to recalculate the cost. We're going to calculate our adjusted balances. We have shared all of that value from department B, so there is zero dollars there. For department C, previously, the adjusted balance was 32,941.18. We're adding $3,755.66 to that. That gives us a total of $36,696.84. For P1, it is the $529,411.76 added to $15,022.62. And that gives us a total of $544,434.38. And the final one is 658823.53 plus $30,045.25. And that gives us a value of $688,868.78. So these are the new values in the departments. So you notice that only three departments has overhead cost in it. No, we're now going to proceed to the other section of the worksheet. 
and we are going to allocate this on the machine hours. And which department are we sharing the costs from? It is service department C that we're allocating the costs from, and that will be going to P1 and P2. And remember, we're using machine hours. Now, what is the value that we are going to share? We're double checking from department C, we have $36,696.84 in that as overhead cost. That is what we are distributing. So therefore, we are going to show that we are reducing department of that value. Now we're going to proceed to do our workings in order to get the accurate value that we're entering in P1 and P2 based on the service that they receive from department C. So let's proceed to do that. So the production department one has machine hours of 20,000, while production department two has machine hours of 40,000. That gives us a total of 60,000 machine hours. So in terms of our numerator for P1, it is 20,000 and P2, that is 40,000. We're going to proceed now to do our workings for P1. And again, that is based on machine hours and we're sharing department C. So hence our allocation workings for department C. So let's move into that. Department P1 is 20,000 machine hours divided by a total of 60,000 multiplied by the overhead cost that is in department C, which is $36,696.84. That give us a value of service receiving from department C of $12,232.28. Let's record that in our worksheet. Now, let's do our calculation for P2. And P2, the Machine hours is 40,000, and that is divided by the total of 60,000 multiplied by $36,696.84. That gives us $24,464.56. Let's record that in our worksheet. And now that we have that, we can then do our calculation of the cost after allocation, the cost within the production department after allocating the service department cost. And in service department C, no money is there. P1, the previous overhead cost was 544, 434.38. It is now, Increase by $12,233.28. That give us a value of $556,666.66. And for department P2, previous cost was $688,868.78. So that was the previous Overhead after allocation to that, there's an added cost of $24,464.56, which gives us a value of $713,333.34. So now people will see that we have safely allocated the service department costs to the production departments using the step down allocation method. So once you get to the final stage, you would notice that all of the production departments has overhead costs within them. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe.